The Cape Hatteras Lighthouse can be an intimidating sight. Towering over the shoreline as it has since 1870, it's the tallest lighthouse in America. But experts say it only has a few years left unless something is done to save it from the encroaching sea. The National Park Service, which oversees the lighthouse, has favored the construction of a concrete seawall at an estimated cost of six and a half million dollars. But one group of citizens says the lighthouse can be saved for half that amount. And the lighthouse needs to be moved because it needs to be put into a safe place. Barrett Wilson and others have formed the Move the Lighthouse Committee. The organization says the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse can be safely moved to a site a half mile inland for just over three million dollars. I'm convinced it can be relo relocated. The members of the International Association of Structural Movers are convinced. All the members of the Move the Lighthouse Committee, most of whom are uh, either in the construction industry or design professionals, are convinced it can be relocated. David Fischetti is a and consulting engineer and originally became involved in the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse in 1981 when he was hired by the National Park Service to look at alternatives for saving the lighthouse. His plan for relocation was rejected, but he hasn't given up. His plan calls for building two concrete tracks, raising the lighthouse onto those tracks, and then moving it along existing roadways for about a half a mile. David Fischetti says structurally the lighthouse is a lot like this filled soft drink bottle. And he says moving the lighthouse would be like dragging this bottle along on a sheet of paper. The National Park Service isn't convinced. But while it was scheduled to begin taking bids for the seawall early this year, now Park Service officials have decided to take one more look at relocation. Being a public agency, we decided that it would be uh, best with such an important decision to review the information before deciding on the, the final alternative. A special advisory panel was formed in April to take another look at the options. A decision is expected this summer. Barrett Wilson says there's no question relocation is the right way to go. He says the seawall would eventually make the Hatteras Light an island, would doom the historic structure, and would kill all chances of relocation in the future. It wasn't designed to be an island structure. It was designed to be three quarters of a mile inland the way it was built when the original builders put it out there. Once the seawall is constructed and the, the lighthouse is captured by this artificial island off the coast of North Carolina, you may not have a chance to move it if, if that alternative becomes a possibility. The people who live in this Outer Banks community have lived with the lighthouse for more than 100 years. Tomorrow night, we'll take a look at what they think about moving the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Graham Wilson, WBTV News, on Cape Hatteras.